Hi Space Cats, I'm Dr. Maggie Liu and welcome back to my channel. This week we saw the announcement of ESA's astronaut selection program. This has not happened in 12 years, so it's a really big deal. And they will be selecting four to six astronauts and 20 reserves. In case you don't realize, that's a lot. So in this video, let's talk about their requirements to becoming an astronaut to see if you would make the cut. ESA requires that applicants must be from an ESA member state or associate state. So this is Austria, Belgium, the Czech Republic, Denmark, Estonia, Finland, France, Germany, Greece, Hungary, Ireland, Italy, Luxembourg, the Netherlands, Norway, Poland, Portugal, Romania, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland and the United Kingdom, plus Slovenia and Latvia. If you're a citizen from any of these countries, then you're already one step in. Second on the list is a minimum of a master's degree in either natural sciences, medicine, engineering, maths, or computer science. The main reason I see for this is that if they hadn't set such a requirement, then they would just be inundated with applications, too much to realistically and fairly process. Additionally, having a master's will probably help. In addition to the master's degree, you also need at least three years of professional experience working after your degree. So sorry you newly grads just don't make the cut this time. Try again next time. You have to be able to swim. In the first month of training, applicants will have to pass a swimming test. Swimming is a key skill for astronauts because much of the training for spacewalks is done underwater, either in a swimming pool or on a dive. You have to be able to drive. Candidates need to be mobile. So those who have yet to get a valid driving license in their home country or an international driving license will need to have one. You need to have good English written and speaking skills. And a second language is an asset. Russian is the biggest asset as it's the second language spoken on the ISS. But this is not a requirement and you will learn it during training if you're selected. To govorish po Ruski? The maximum age limit is 50. This is because chosen astronauts will be required to complete at least two missions. And given the training can take many years, any older and you'd be pushing really close to retirement age. The ideal age is between 27 and 37, although there's no lower limit set. On the medical side, you need to be disease free with 2020 vision, although this can be corrected vision. So contrary to what you might think, you can still be an astronaut if you wear glasses. You need to be free from psychiatric disorders as well as physical disabilities. However, there is an exception to this rule. Applicants cannot have any hearing problems. This means they need to have a hearing capacity of 25 decibels or better. And this is because a lot of the time astronauts are subject to high levels of noise and they need to be able to hear instructions over this noise. It's for their own safety. Additionally, astronauts will have to pass an EU accredited class two aviation medical test. And this can be quite expensive, around 200 pound in the UK. This includes everything, including drug and alcohol testing. So drug dependent users are a no-no. For the first time ever, ESA will be selecting a para-astronaut, like para-Olympics. 
They are actively looking for a single person who psychologically, cognitively, technically and professionally are fit and meet the requirements to become an astronaut but have a physical disability that would prevent them from being selected. This is just a feasibility testing for now. So the list of allowed disabilities is actually quite small. You can have a lower limb deficiency like a prosthetic foot, a pronounced leg difference or you can be kind of short, less than 130 centimeters in height. In the last callback in 2008, only 16% of applicants were females. So this time around, they're giving a big push to get a pool of diverse candidates. Lastly, there are several personality traits that they're specifically looking for. And this is probably the trickier part because you can't change your personality. Astronauts need to be highly motivational, flexible, gregarious, empathic, non-aggressive, and have emotional stability. The selection process has six stages and is expected to be completed in October 2022 if COVID doesn't cause a delay. Did you make all the requirements that I just listed? If so, I do encourage you to apply. I'll be applying with you. On that note, I'll also be releasing a series of videos with the amazing Lionel Matrelia on our application process and preparation. So please do look out for that. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave me a like, share and subscribe.